Okay, today we're going to be looking at a few of my um, alien and predator figures. So, first up is this guy. See that? This guy was in um, Alien vs Predator Requiem. He's the uh, the predator that came to uh, stop the aliens in that film. Now, something happened just before I started setting this video up that pissed me off and is I've got a major fault with these figures I really have some of the poses that they uh, actually put them in I don't know if you can actually see this but it's just one thing that just niggles me to death it's when you actually try and pose the arms of because there is quite a lot of articulation in them when you actually pose the arms you get this little stupid little thing where the joint just doesn't match up with the rest of the body and it's not just that as well, it's the actual poses they put them in. I mean, like that, I mean, the head. I mean, I'd like it to be just a, oh, see, things drop off. I'd like it just to be an upright figure instead of all this, you know, arms at the side and bent over like that. A straight up figure that stands up straight, that has the articulation that allows you to pose it in whatever position you really want to. Now saying that, it's, it's got some quite nice detail on it. The, the dreadlocks, the Predator dreadlocks, are actually uh, rubberized. And they're quite good. The one thing that is wrong with this, I mean, you have to actually assemble this. I mean, some of these parts, I mean, the medical kit on the back actually fits on there. It, the main thing that really niggles me is these type of things. I mean, it's these little joints here on the, on the actual predator weapon. These are absolutely fragile as fuck. And it takes a lot of effort to put that little peg into the little hole that's actually on the predator's back. And if you're not careful, you can end up snapping it, which is what I've nearly done with that. And this guy actually does come with a spear. And... What actually happened was the uh, the plastic is so brittle, and the predator's hand is so hard to actually get the spear into that this happened. It actually snapped as I was trying to put it in his hand. Now this is just shit. Now I don't know why they can't just make it out of some kind of you know just bendy rubber like they do with the Transformers figures, but this hard plastic stuff is it's just so brittle it's unbelievable. So if you've got this figure and you're trying to pose it and you've got this spear. Be really, really careful you don't break it. It's a pain in the arse. Like I said, it came with a lot of accessories. I mean, it came with the actual uh, little backpack thing that goes on his back that's got his uh, blades in there that shoot out. And there's quite, you can see that, it's quite a lot of actual detail on the actual piece itself comes with the uh, Predator med medical kit that folds out, well, it doesn't actually fold out, it just uh, fits on his back like that. And we, of course, we have his, like, his, uh, his plasma cannon laser weapon type thing. There is a little tab on the actual back of this here, on there, and you can't really see it, but on the back of that, and it fits in, I've never worked out how to do that, so... Yeah, yeah it come, it's got like all the uh, I mean, little belt thingies on there. He's got some skulls around his neck too. To be honest, I, I'm not that impressed with this one at all. I mean, he's, I mean, this is a this is kind of a nice touch. He's got his um his wrist knives on there, and they do actually flip out like that and come right out. See that very well like that. Put it up like that. They do actually just come out and uh, retract back in again. So it's not too bad, but I'm not a massive fan of this guy at all. So that's that one out of the way. Now we come, I'm going to do the, the shittiest ones first. Now we come to this guy. Now you probably recognize this one. This is actually. Um, the Pred Alien, this is the hybrid hybrid alien from the uh, Aliens vs Predator Requiem 
this one has got a lot of ma it's got a lot of massive problems with it. It um it comes it comes with a stand. I'll just tilt the camera down so you can see it. If you can see that shit. Yeah, that's better. It comes with a stand. It, this is light detachable. You can take him off the stand. And here yeah, it detaches like this into separate bits. Like that. And you can reassemble it. The problem I have with this guy is it's the way it's, it's the same as the it's the same as the predator that I've just shown you. It's the way they've actually molded it into its position. I mean, they've molded it so the legs are like that, and the only way you can really stand him up is if you put him on the stand. And even when you put him on the stand, he doesn't stand up properly. You need this tail, you know. It's heavy. The, the actual figure itself is really, really heavy, and the, the head itself is a uh, top of it. I mean, it's a beautiful figure. It is absolutely gorgeous the way it looks. It's just how they moulded it and the position they put it in that just causes all the problems. It just doesn't want to stand up. Uh, put it, I'm gonna put it back on the stand, and you can see for yourself. Put it on the stand, and as you can see, you can see that it just wants to lean. It actually wants to lean, you know, that way, that way down there, like that, lean to one side. And if you're not careful, it just it just falls over. But it's got a lot of articulation in the arms and stuff. I mean, you've got to be really careful with the arms on this because this one has a tendency to just pop off when you try and pose it. It won't. It won't stretch right out, and that. Yeah, you know, I was really looking forward to getting this, and I, I like the look of it in the actual shot, but. As you can see, you know, when you're posing it, it just goes that way. And there's no way to actually straighten straighten it up whatsoever. The, the tail, you know, helps to steady it, but if you put the tail like that, it just flips and uh, here you go, it just it just falls over. It is, and it looks absolutely gorgeous if you look at it. The head has a full range of movement where you can pose the head the arms swivel unfortunately the legs you know once they're on the actual platform you can't pose them and there's no point posing it anyway really so sorry but my girlfriend got me this and I can't really say too much about it but it is a pile of shit and I hope they bring another version out of the Predalien that's uh, not in this position it just looks shit Right, this is how they should have done it. That's the alien, that's the predator just falling off the table. This is how they should have done it. This is a normal alien warrior. I didn't realise this. I, I always thought in the films, and I've just found some more articulation, which is pretty cool, actually. The arms do go up and down like that, which is awesome. But in the actual film, as I was saying, I always wondered where the eyes were on this thing and was thinking, where are they? If you look closely, I haven't noticed until now, at the front of the head, underneath this like uh, clear section, there is actually two eyes. It's, it's a, it looks like a human skull underneath it. So they do actually have eyes, which is something I didn't, I've never real. I mean, I've watched all the films and I've never realised that they actually have eyes, which is quite cool. Now, this is how they should have done it. You know, this 
is how they should have done this one. Standing upright, able to pose and move its arms as you want instead of moulded into a certain position. It can, uh, it's got some pretty good uh, articulation on it. And there goes that prevailing again, falling over. Its head moves as so. It can move its knees. It is a, a pretty good figure. And it's got the uh, awesome, the, oh, what would you call it, a gimmick? I don't know. You can actually open up the mouth like that. And you can actually pull the teeth out. So it's like that, as you can see in the film. Teeth pop back in, and you can close the mouth again. Which is it's a nice touch, really nice touch. Now, with, uh, with this guy, I actually got a face hugger. This is the only accessory I actually got with it. Would have been nice to have an actual alien egg with it, or one of these figures, but they don't seem to have done that. But on all that, of all my um, alien and predator figures, this guy is the best one, I have to say. The arms move, like so. The arms and elbows move. You can move the arms up and around. This is the one with the most articulation, I think, and a lot of poses. And it will actually stand pretty well, too, as you can see. That's freestanding. It, that's it's just awesome, just brilliant. Highly recommend getting this figure. This <laughs> felt. This one I would wait until they actually do another mold of it or something because in this, as it's posed like this, it won't stand. It's top heavy, and to be honest with it, it's just shit. So no, forget that one. If you want to get an alien, get this guy. It's fucking awesome. It's got the uh, telltale. I don't know if they're what these actually are. These actually lungs or whatever. Whatever those are. The tail's rubberized so you can uh, move the tail. Yep. Out of all of them, this is the actual, the best one, I think. It's fucking awesome. On a lighter note, this is the uh, another one to my... Uh, Aliens and Predator collection is this guy. It's Bobblehead Predator. He's quite good. He bubbles about. Again, thing to uh, watch out for if you get this guy is his actual wrist knives. I've actually bent those and they are really, really fragile and one knock and they will snap off so be careful with that. And with his little spear down here too. Let's get a better view of that. I really need to get a better webcam because this one is just shit. It, it doesn't pick up all the detail on these guys at all. And if I'm going to do some more reviews, then I need to change that. He looks fucking amazing. He's got little skulls down there and a little thing saying Predator on it. So, yeah, that's been my um, Predator and Alien collection in brief. I may go into more detail on them when I get a better camera because it just, there's just no point at the minute because you just can't pick out the detail with this camera at all. So, yeah, just a little video there. Uh, see you all soon.